Hey guys, James here today and welcome back to another Sims 4 building video. That's right, building is not a house building video, but a building video. Which, I mean, I guess it's probably suggested in the title. But anyway, so today we're building a sort of fast food restaurant uh, called, aptly named, The Burger Joint. I, I figured that, I mean, obviously you can't actually have, like, a, a sort of fast food restaurant in the game. Because, first of all, there are no restaurants. Uh, your Sims can't go out and eat. But, you know, it's still, it was still a lot of fun to build. And you could, you could use this as a bakery. I, I, there, there are two uh, little bakery uh, food racks that you could put bakery items on. Um, it's probably a little bit expensive for a bakery, but I guess what you could do is, uh, put it in your world, and then I guess get some other sims to own it, just like stock it up, and then, uh, and then you could just go to it and then buy some baked goods, or I guess, uh, you can, I mean, you can sell burgers there, that would also work. <laughs> you could totally do that. But, you know, I'm just here to build the venue for you, you can play with it however you like, if you just want it decoratively, you can do that. Uh, so this is, I, I mean, I'm playing around with the roof here, like, trying to do, sort of, Old school, stereotypical fast food uh, d restaurant designs. They, uh, I mean, all the new ones going up these days generally don't look like this. But when you go, when you have a look at some of the old, um, the old ones that have been around for years, they they all have this. Uh, I don't know. They all have this sort of look about them. They have that sort of roof that I'm doing now. Not quite that size. I I, I adjust the roof as we go. But they always they always have that sort of. Uh, Old timey roof, and by old timey, I just mean I don't know, just old. I don't know. It's it's weird. It's weird, especially um. Remember Pizza? Wait, remember Pizza Hut's old look? Do they still have that like uh, on their on their restaurants? They have that really weird roof. Is that still like one of the things they do? Googling Pizza Hut restaurant. Let's go to images. See if they still have it. I mean, this will probably come up with old pictures, anyways. But um, I mean, it's like it's like in their logo. Yeah, I guess it's kind of like oh that. Well, no, there's a modern one. Uh, not all of them have it then. It's a pretty ugly roof, I'm not going to lie. But anyways, uh, <laughs> I was taking inspiration from, you know, your stereotypical sort of fast food restaurant design. Also, uh, like many uh, teenagers, I have worked in a fast food restaurant before. So I, I took some of the um, the sort of backroom design from that because, you know, I used to I used to work somewhere. Yeah, I know. I, I, I had a job at some point in my life. And that's pretty incredible. <laughs> I actually I, I worked at um, a restaurant that shall not be named. Uh I mean, you can probably guess it's probably the the most uh, wide, most global uh, fast food restaurant brand in the world. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty easy to guess. Uh, I don't know why I'm not saying it. There's no reason I'm not saying it. I'm allowed to, but I'm not going to. Just yeah, a little bit of mystery. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so I, I took some of the, like for the for the kitchen design. I used to work in the kitchen, so for the kitchen design and the sort of back room like staff area, that I sort of took inspiration uh, from that. And sort of based it on that. And then, yeah, so the, the roof here, I'm adding some air conditioning units. And I was trying to get just get some vents and, and uh, sort of chimney pipes and all that kind of stuff. Then I was like, oh, yeah, they have all these other roof decorative items that I almost never use. Because I always forget about them. And I was like, we can use this little sign thing here. That little stone thing. And then get those signs that came and get to work. And that can sort of be like the name of it. Uh, now, of course, it's I believe that sign that I put up, like the actual uh, word. Uh, I, I believe that like the description for it is fashion uh, some sort of fashion uh, sign. So it's like for a clothes store, really. But I mean, we we have imaginations here. We can pretend that it says burger joint or whatever you want it to say. Uh, it, we'll we'll pretend for the sake of it. It's going to say burger joint. Uh, yeah, so picking all the colors here, trying to figure out what I wanted to do. I definitely wanted uh, sort of a, a stone tower uh, on the corner there. I don't know. I, I feel like, I think especially, is that like Taco Bell? Do they have those towers? I don't know why I'm thinking Taco Bell, because we don't have Taco Bell in Australia. And I've only ever been to one once, and that was about six years ago. Uh, and I regret every second of it. Uh, Taco Bell... No, I don't know. I don't know where I got that sort of diagonal corner thing from. I mean, I guess a lot of fast food places have it. I don't know. I don't know. It, it, seemed, it seemed right. Let's just put it that way. It seemed like the right sort of thing to do. And that's what I did. So yeah, and then of course I, uh, I did it a while ago now, but I moved it up onto foundation because I wanted to have a little bit more depth uh, off of the sidewalk. I wanted to get the, these sort of bright red windows, but there were no, uh, like I wanted the, those super tall windows, but there weren't any matching ones that went with the doors. And so in the end, I just sort of settled with these uh, medium height windows and uh, sort of tall doors. And it totally, totally works in the end and looks pretty cool. Getting plastering a bunch of signage around because, of course, you want people to know far and wide what restaurant this is. You know, down the street, you want, want them to be able to see the uh, the red burger joint logo. So they come and eat your succulent, succulent grilled burgers. Oh, Ooh, yeah, that's good. Um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Anyways, or, they don't have to be grilled. They could be... Um, 
Well, I guess, uh, how else would you do? Steamed hams? You can make some steamed hams. <laughs> or call them steamed clams if you want. Uh, anyways, yeah, doing this little, uh, using those little fences. I've been using those a lot lately in my, my recent builds. Just to add a little bit, of a, de- little bit of detail at the front of the store. I don't know, it just adds a sort of another dimension to it. It has like, I, I really, the, the thing I love most about using those little fences is that all the shadows it sort of casts on the, the ground underneath it. I don't know. It just looks really, really nice. And uh, those little whirly birds keep disappearing. I think in the end, I just never put them back. Like, I keep putting them back, those uh, little whirly birds in the roof, but they keep going away. And I'm just like, oh, well, alrighty then. Uh, no, I am really annoyed that there's no, um, ooh, that, that was weird. I'm really annoyed that there's no modern spandrel in this game. Like, all the spandrels, uh, the things that go between columns up the top, they're all, like, old-timey. None of them look like, you know, like a modern sort of design, which is kind of sucky. Because I wanted to use them there, but I guess none of them matched. So we're having the sort of uh, front desk area. Oh, not front desk. I guess front counter over here on the right. And then uh, I'm just moving the store over so I can get a little bit more room. Because I because I, I realized, I very quickly realized once I went inside, it's like, oh, crap, this area is actually really small. Uh, like for where, for where I had planned to put the uh, the front counter, I was like, oh, no, it's like really, really small. I need to, uh, need to fit that in somehow. I, um, oh, no, you know what I didn't do? But I mean, there's no room. I used a whole lot. If, if I had used a bigger lot, and I was actually considering moving a lot at one point, but I was like, ah, it's not really, it's, I don't really need it. Because I was considering doing like, um, if I moved it to a bigger lot, and I guess you guys could do this if you want. If you move it to a bigger lot, say like 40 by 40 or maybe even 50 by 50, like a really big lot. The, I was thinking of doing like a car park around it and maybe like a drive through at the back. That could be kind of cool. But I mean, I, I really didn't have the time to sort of uh, to do that right now, unfortunately. But that's a cool idea. And then, I, then what I also just came to my mind just then was I should have done like a, like a playground area because a lot of uh, freestanding fast food uh, restaurants will have like a children's play area. Um, but yeah, anyway, so that's the little, we're building the, I spent a long time in this kitchen, actually, uh, this little industrial kitchen in here, or commercial, I would say industrial, I mean, I mean commercial kitchen, uh, so I put those sort of cabinets, uh, there on the left to act as like, so just like a barrier between, uh, the kitchen and the front space, and there's two gaps between it, because that's sort of where the, uh, the burger creation lines will go, like, that's where you'd shove the burgers through when you make them fresh, you know, we make them fresh here, we don't, we don't have them sitting on a warming rack the entire time. Just moving the barbecue outside to get the colors right. I thought we'd do a barbecue in here as well, because it's like, well, I mean, if, if you're going to be doing like a, a burger joint, then you'd probably want to be able to make burgers in this restaurant. So, and, and you can do that on a grill. So, I mean, kind of makes sense. So you can make hot dogs and burgers and stuff as well. And then, of course, we do have uh, the regular stoves there on the right. And so we get two barbecues. So you could have a bunch of people in this kitchen. It's a very small kitchen, but then they generally aren't actually that big in, in real life. If you've ever, if you've ever bothered to look back, I mean, some of them are big, but a lot of them are actually quite small. I mean, they would be a little bit bigger than this. Uh, I would have made it go further back, but again, the lot was actually too small. So I didn't, didn't have enough room to keep moving it back. Uh, getting up some little TV screens that display what current orders they have to fulfill. Uh, just a nice little touch. Little detail, so you can be like, oh, we have got some orders to fulfill. And then they'll be like, oh. Um, yeah. And I think I'm getting a hand washing station in here. Go in there. Wash your hands. After everything you touch that isn't uh, clean, you want to wash your hands. Sanitize your hands and paper towel them. Of course, a couple of fire extinguishers. They would be special fire extinguishers, because if you just if you sprayed a regular fire extinguisher onto like an open grill, probably not a good idea. Uh, I'm going to advise against that. Uh, adding in those sort of steel beams there just to uh, give, I guess, just another layer of detail in the middle. And getting some bins and, and of course, fridges, because you actually need to be able to get food out of somewhere. I, again, I, oh, th- there was, there's a few details that I would have liked to add in this place. And I think I, I would like to revisit sort of a sort of a restaurant style thing again. Maybe a fast food one again. But... Like on a bigger lot, I'm going to have more time because as you guys know, this is one of the sort of pre-recorded videos I've done the past however many weeks. Well, I've done six weeks of videos in in one week. Uh, so I really just did not have the time available to go uh, completely crazy on this. Instead, I sort of devoted all my time to, into detailing this kitchen area and then making the rest of the lot look really nice. But some of the things I would love to add down the line. Yeah, like I said, the car park, the playground, uh, like a freezer room would be really good, like a, a sort of... Uh, cold storage, and then I guess just regular storage as well. Uh, and then also like a garbage room, uh, that would make sense. Um, and a little bit more room for an office as well, because I kind of squeezed an office in this flight. Like, like, you'll see it, you'll see it. It's not much, I don't even know if I would call it an office. It's like a it's like a hallway with a computer in it, you'll see it. <laughs> uh, it's just, there wasn't as, as much room as I wanted. But at the end of the day, this is just a decorative lot. Like if you come and visit this lot in your game, none of that stuff is really gonna be 
make any difference to it so i mean i figured like i figured at least i got the useful stuff in here so we got the uh the kitchen so you can actually use it as like a bakery if you wanted and you also got the all the tables and dining area so now i'm using those tvs as like you know the menus so when you go into like the restaurant uh that would have sort of the menus up on big screens uh as that seems to be quite common around uh around sydney uh, or in new restaurants anyways seem to be putting up large sort of display uh tvs so they can change the menu frequently and easily. So I thought I'd use those uh, and chuck them on the columns. And then I was like, oh, hang on. I should probably fit a door in there so I can see if, uh, so I can get the right height. So Sims can walk under it. And I believe they can walk under it. I think I did test the kitchen. I actually can't remember. I'm pretty sure I did. Uh, so I think I'm 99% sure it works. Uh, so that's all good. Sims are pretty smart in Sims 4 anyway. Uh, yeah, so that's one of the uh, the little bakery things. Did I, Maybe I only did one of those. I thought I did two bakery things. Oh, maybe I do another one on the right. Yeah, there you go. Do another one there. There you go. You have two bakery <laughs> little racks. So, I mean, of course, you could extend the counter area if you wanted further over to the right or something like that. But um, that's kind of what I went with there. Just going through doing some little detailing items in the kitchen now as well. I, I, I really, I really love the kitchen. And uh, as you can see, I mean, we're almost about halfway into this video and I'm still like working on the kitchen area. This is sort of, this is where I dumped like all the time and I had the most fun uh, just sort of going through this and... Uh, and detailing it to my heart's content. Now, just getting in some lighting uh, to the kitchen. Uh, it was kind of actually hard to figure out a good way to light the room because I wanted to use those sort of uh, hanging lights that you can see just up above, those sort of fluorescent tube lights, because that makes sense. But I really hate those lights at the same time because they don't light up the walls. Like, they, they only light up the ground. The light just points down. I mean, physically, it makes sense. Like, they're, they're pointing down, but at the same time, come on, Sims. Like, it wouldn't be that dark up the top. Uh, now, I'm adding in a computer here. Like, this is the computer where you'd come into work and you'd, you'd like, sign in. Do your little signing in stuff uh, just there. Uh, and, of course, I did some shelves as well, a little bit of decoration. Get some pots and pans in case they want to, I don't know, make some soup or something. I thought I'd color those fire ex extinguishers bright red. Uh, just so it's like, you know, you know, you like, okay, if I <laughs> I'm, like, tripping over my own words here. So you look at it and you're like, oh, that's bright red. Get it. So, you, you know, you don't mix it up and you, you can easily find it in a pinch. Uh, bright color, easy to see. It also adds a nice little detail to the area. So we've got, uh, we're just going through and sort of doing the floor and the rest of the place. The whole staff area is just like tiled uh, because easy to clean. And it doesn't have to look nice because customers don't go in there. And believe me, oh, 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 these restaurants don't care about the staff area looking nice. Um <laughs> Not saying who it was, but, uh, you know, eh, they, they could have nicer conditions. Uh, but, yeah, so now uh, this is where I'm... I'm the, the reason I keep rotating here, I'm, like, trying to figure out what I want to do is because I'm trying to figure out where I can fit in, like, a little office space and also the toilet. So there's, like, that's a little staff toilet there, toilet sink and a little toilet roll, hand sanitizer, all that kind of good stuff. Also paper towels and a bin to dump the towels in. Uh, and then, yeah, you saw I put the lockers in the hallway, which, by the way, worked perfectly fine. You can walk through that hallway, no problem. I did test that one because I wasn't sure. Uh, so that where, that, I'm, where I'm doing that archway now is sort of where I'm going to be putting in the uh, the sort of office space. And I, I do change the size. It's not two by two. I think it's I think it's three by two, like that size I just did. I think that's how it ends up being. Uh, I did notice, though, and this was this was way, way after when I was coming in and editing the video, was that the, the, the chair for the office actually disappeared at some point. And I never put it back. So if you do download this, make sure to put a chair in that office space because it disappeared. And I apologize for that. Um, I really, really do. Now, this was also another sort of difficult layout because I had this two square indentation there, which I really wanted to do a little kitchenette in. But I'm like, we kind of need like a sink or something in this place. And that's that, that little two by or two by one. Sorry, not two by two. A little two square gap where, that looks perfect for a kitchenette really doesn't fit any of that stuff in. I was a little bit upset about it, but of course I got the vending machine in there and a little microwave next to it. And I think, I don't know, I still don't think that's final. I think I keep changing it. I have no idea. Uh, then I, I think I gave up. It's like, hey, let's go into the office. Let's just give them a bigger desk. And I was going to give them a different wall, but I was like, no, no, they don't get a nice office. They have the crappy walls and floors like everybody else. They don't get special treatment. They do have lots of staff files, you know, all the sort of schedules and, and I don't know other documentation, legal documents, that kind of stuff. That's where the manager works. He's got all his files. There's got his little employee files next to his computer and a bunch of boxes on the floor because there's really no storage and there's not enough room. A little uh, hat rack though, he can come in. A couple of boards uh, around the place so we can uh, know what's going on. Yeah, yeah, that's good. So um, yeah, go through just detailing all that. So yeah, I'm still... <laughs> 
this rotation here is me trying to figure out what the hell I want to do in this space. I Yeah, I eventually moved just the kitchenette over to this side. And then I think... What do I do in that two little... I can't remember. Maybe I just do a table in there. No, I don't know. I actually don't remember. It's a surprise. Let's find out together. Because I don't remember. Maybe I do just do a... F no. I don't know. Anyway, it's getting a bunch of sort of tables around the place so you can come in and eat. Uh, and a little employee notice... Oh, that's what I do. I still just do a little table there. Uh, so it's just like a little notice board and a little table to put stuff on. Yeah, now that looks pretty good. I like that in the end. And a nice bright red fire extinguisher in case. And getting some chrome wall lining, mainly because I, I think I wanted to hide lights in that. If I'm not mistaken. Um, I mean, we'll see. A couple of warning signs up around the place, just in case there's a fire. You know, this is what you want to do. Grab the fire extinguisher and put it out, just in case. Uh, getting those lights again, which... Look, look at them. Look, look how dark the room is <laughs> when you use those, those lights. They look really nice, but... The problem with a lot of lights in this game is they, uh, they either don't light up the walls or they, like, if you look at the tables down below, I was about to say, they, or they light up the, the, like, some objects way too much. And that's totally what's happening right now. <laughs> oh, the humanity. All right, so I, th I guess we're moving out into the restaurant area now because the, uh, the sort of back room area is done. Uh, this is sort of like the little condiments area where you'd get your napkins and I guess any sauces if they had them there. Usually they don't. Usually it'd just be sort of napkins and, and sort of drinking straws kind of stuff. But, you know, I thought I'd just put some lots of condiments there. Lots of uh, mayo. Oh, maybe not mayo. I, was, I meant to say mustard, but apparently said mayo. Um, yeah, anyways, make it a fairly modern uh, sort of interior. Like, this is a new restaurant. It's not old. Uh, I mean, I, I would say the exterior is sort of... May maybe it's an old restaurant, but they've renovated it and made it look really new. Um, and, and made it just look a little bit cleaner. So I've, I've gone that for that wood paneling wall that I've... I've been I've been loving a lot lately. I've been using that wood paneling wall so so much. It just looks really really good, especially in sort of uh, commercial buildings. So like especially in the um, the police station as well, it works really well in there. And uh, I think it looks really cool in this uh, this burger joint as well. So going around with the chrome lining on that room, I think I'm putting yeah wall lights in there, just hiding them in, in there. And look how bright that shelf is because of those lights. And then I figured I couldn't remove the lights because it got too dark when I did that. Um, I think I just darkened that. Yeah, I changed the color because when it's white, it's like super bright. So I just made it a little bit darker and it looked a bit, bit, bit better. All right, so we're going through and doing the restaurant now. Um, started off pretty simple with some tables and chairs, black tables, white chairs. Thought it looked pretty cool, pretty interesting, anyways. And I thought we'd get some little little, little bar area there, sort of looking out the window. Looks pretty fancy. And I'm I'm trying to build like a little separator here. So like you'd make your order, and then you'd go, you'd sort of lean on this little separator wall. You just lean back on it. Uh, or it, it kind of, it's just kind of a way to separate the people that are already dining from those that are coming into order. Uh, at least that was the idea behind it. Now this looks pretty cool. I wanted to do this a little bit differently. So what I'm doing here is I'm getting the wall. I put the column in and then I've got move objects on. So when I remove the wall, the columns actually stay there. Not columns, the shelves actually stay there and create like sort of a separator, which I think looks really cool. What I actually wanted to do, but I, I, I knew it was gonna take way too long to get it perfect, was just have a single row of shelves, not shelves on either side. So just have uh, a shelf connecting the columns, like in the middle, um, instead of, you'll see that there's, I've got, I did two on either side. But I mean, it still looks really, really nice, um, but it's just not, I, I mean, uh, eh, it's, yeah, it's still cool, it works. Uh, yeah, so that's my little separator there, that's what I meant, like they can just lean against that sort of, a uh, little chrome bar fence thing, and it just separates um, from the little dining area there. And I'm just flipping around the colors of the uh, the stools and the counters because all my tables have like sort of white chairs and black tables. So I thought maybe the uh, little bar area should probably be the same, the bar dining area. And uh, I was just going to do another one over here. Yeah, just to fill in the restaurant. Obviously, the, re the all this floor space is going to be sort of tables and chairs and making it look really cool. So doing more of these little separators here, which I do really like the look of, but like I said, I would uh, like to do single shelf in between. Um, maybe round two. Maybe when they add in or someone mods in sort of like super functional restaurants. So on this one, I don't know if I actually leave it like that. I can't remember now. I did, uh, instead of removing the wall, I actually just did an archway. Um, I did an archway there. And uh, so you can still see through, and I did hedges. So there's a little bit of privacy, I don't know. Just another another different look that I thought was quite cool. So I put TVs up there, because usually at these restaurants, you'd have like a TV, I don't know, showing the news, or like a music video channel or something like that. So I thought, put a bunch of TVs up around the place so everybody can see, and uh, away we go. Bob's your uncle, as they say. So just getting in. Uh, this one is a little bit taller, I think, this separator, actually. Like the shelves go up a bit higher. 
So it's just sort of like a nice visual separator, sort of, uh, you know, give you a bit of privacy and break up the people so it's not just one giant kind of cafeteria type of place. Uh, yeah. Anyways, going around filling in all of these tables. I mean, I, I would be amazed if you ever had this many people in your restaurant in The Sims. Like, even with, like, there's mods to increase the number of people you can have uh, in, in, in your shop. There is there's actually a specific mod that's, like, um, more customers. Uh, if you could actually get people in, like, that many people, and have them sitting down, that would be impressive. I would be impressed. Color me impressed. I don't even think that's a saying. I don't know, like, color me something else. Color me... Jealous? I don't know. No, it's color me something. I don't think it's color me impressed, though. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> anyways, going around doing some lighting in the restaurant, just seeing what looks good. Uh, apparently, that didn't look good, so I got rid of it. Using these uh, get-to-work lights as well. These are some of my new favorite lights. I, always, I, like, I love to use these ones because they, they do a really good job of lighting up. Also... The other thing is when you put the walls down, when you're playing the game, you, you never see them. They, they don't get in your way, uh, which has always been my complaint about ceiling lights. Now, I did use the beamer. I don't normally use the beamer lights, but I thought they would look really cool sort of circling around the columns. As you can see, I've sort of got them all placed on top of the columns, uh, which I thought was kind of a cool idea. And I've got those sort of uh, restaurant menus, a uh, little sort of, yeah, as you can see there, I'm putting the sign above them all. Uh, so you have all the menus. Uh, they, they're kind of be like, they're, they're kind of supposed to be like a poster around the store because uh, there's obviously no sort of food posters that I could really put up around the place. So I thought I'd just chuck up a few menu boards here and there and uh, just furnishing the uh, public restrooms at the moment. Of course, I do have two restrooms, but unless you have the door locking mod, uh, Sims will just use whichever restroom because there's no uh, distinction between male or female in the in the game by default. Unless you lock the doors you, with the mod, you could do that. Uh, we're just getting in the sinks. There are sinks and actually mirrors. Uh, I have <laughs> in the past, believe it or not, I have forgotten to do those things. Um, yeah, there you go. So we're, we're nearing completion here, just doing the final sort of little details here and there. And uh, I believe, yeah, I'm going around the back yeah see look the whirly birds on the roof are gone if you look up the top where the where i put them and i was about to put them back i was like no nah, screw it uh <laughs> I, anyways I, i'm yeah i think i'm doing it in just a second around the back i actually put some bins because there's no bins on the slot at the moment like an exterior bin uh so you see me jump around the back when i'm like oh the humanity i forgot the bin and we chuck that in uh because I, I do a door right out from the kitchen as well so it's, it's actually quite convenient uh just making that roof a little bit steeper and I thought I'd give the back of the building just uh, sort of an unpainted or like a, a, a sort of washed away painted brick because it's old and they don't really, you know, you, the, generally these places don't keep the backs of the, the buildings looking nice. It'd usually just be like a concrete or I don't know, just something that was a little bit tacky. So I thought I'd do that as well. And there's the back door. Uh, chucking a couple of bins out here. I was hoping they had like a sort of yellow or a blue bin. So you have like recycling bins, that kind of stuff. Um, but there you go. That That is the burger joint. Let's jump into the screenshots now so we can get a nice close-up look of it. Here is the front. Looking pretty nice. I, I love looking in through the windows. I think that looks really, really cool. Just seeing what's inside. I don't know. It's just... Look, this was a lot of fun to build. Something, something again, that's quite different. Just a shot from the side there. Uh, just something that's quite different than I've, that I've done before in The Sims. I don't even think I've done something like this in, like, Sims 3 or 2, uh, for that matter. So this is quite, quite new for me. A lot of fun to build. I mean, I think I've built, like, um, I've built, like, shopping malls and stuff in The Sims 2 before. Like, way, 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 way back in the day. And that was a lot of fun. Uh, but not, nothing quite like this before. So there's, obviously, the front counter with the menu TVs up on the wall. And you can see, I, lo I love looking to the... All the seating and the kitchen at the back there. Here's the seating environment. I think that looks super nice. I am so, so happy with this. Even though there was a lot of things earlier on I said I would love to change this. That's just me being sort of a perfectionist. I love to do the best that I can do. And maybe when I revisit it, I can do that stuff. But there's a certain point when you're doing something that you got to say, okay, okay, just stop. That's enough. We, we got it. We got it. <laughs> uh, but no, I, I'm so happy with the way this looks. And here is the, the sort of kitchen space as well, which again, I'm really, really happy with how this turned out because it, it's so detailed and it's, it, it's small, but it's detailed and everything works and it all uh, sort of uh, fits in together really, really nicely. I'm, I don't know that that picture, these pictures right here to me just are like, oh, the humanity is so beautiful. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm uh, complimenting myself too much, but I'm just really proud of it. Uh, of course, the download link to this is in the description down below, or you can search for it on the gallery gallery with hashtag the Sims Supply to find my profile, uh, or add me, or not add me, or search for my origin ID, the Sims Supply. But thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time, and have an awesome day.